Like, this is interesting. This has been floating around for a couple of days now, and I've just been completely ignoring it and because I knew there was nothing to it. But you hear all these people saying, Sinister Six is in trouble. Sinister Six is in trouble. Poor Sony only made $735 million Aww, on Spider-Man 2. What on earth are they going to do? Schnapp's favorite movie of the year. <laughs> there's, there's, <laughs> their cinematic universe must be in trouble. And then people say, and then I swear, I swear, I read that somebody, one of our readers, uh, viewers I should say, tweets me, John, it's official, Sinister Six canceled, look, and they point me to a site, and I won't name the site, moviepilot.com, um, that ran with this big headline that said, Sinister Six canceled, exclamation point. It's like, okay, well, you know it's not true. Five minutes later, I get a ping from the rap, and the rap has officially let the news out. Sony has confirmed Sinister Six, Sinister Six is coming November 11th, 2016. And Amazing Spider-Man 3 now pushed to 2018. So that is the wrap. So the reports of Sinister Six's demise have been greatly exaggerated. Uh, it is indeed coming. So Amy Rose, let's start with you. You heard that Sinister Six is now in the books. They've got a release date for it. Closer than I think a lot of us thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Now in 2016, that's just two years from now. Your thoughts on this? Um, I mean, I think that some people out there did like Amazing Spider-Man 2. I am not in that camp. I kind of liked it. Okay, well, I am not in that camp at all. That is um, problems. I feel like with villains, they can be the most interesting part of the story, yeah. or they can destroy it if you don't do it well. Yep. I feel like that was a perfect example of not knowing what to do with so many villains. Now, Sinister Six, there is so much promise here, because I've always wanted to see from the villain's perspective how this is gonna play out. You know, the perspective, the, p the point of view, everything could be so well done. Um, but they do have a lot cut out for them now because I would say majority of people didn't like Spider-Man, because I really liked Amazing Spider-Man, the first one. Thought Mark Webb really, you know, reinvented it. I'm still biased to Raimi, but I thought it was pretty solid, but the villains just didn't work. And I love Dane DeHaan. That was so not what I wanted to see with Goblin. Like, it just it just did not work with me. So they have their it cut out, but I'm glad that they at least have the balls to commit to it and to try to you know do it again because they are different players involved with it as well and on the note of 2018 for spider-man 3 that's hilarious to me because that <laughs> is so that is so far so obviously they realized that they kind of let a lot of us down with spider-man 2 and that makes me at least you know i mean that's ridiculous because that's so far away but that they're at least paying attention to the criticism and hopefully we're going to get a really good film but it does stay in it does stay in line with their two year two year two year right but to do sinister so, six before spider-man that, that's an interesting property. thing yeah because i, I admit i look I, i'm one of the people that i enjoyed spider-man the amazing spider-man too although it's funny because schnepp and i schnepp has a totally opposite well not totally opposite but he really didn't like it i i kind of liked it and the funny thing was because schnepp and i were talking about it this one day and we were talking about all the the things that were good about it and all the things that were bad about it and we we agreed on all the things that we thought were bad about it and all the things that we thought were kind of redeeming about it but then it just it, you know it affected us differently to me it just affected me that I did end up walking out entertained anyway even though I thought it was a massive step backwards from the amazing spider-man one schnepp it just hit him in a certain way that it just really left a really bad taste in his mouth yeah like but, I thought it was horrible yeah like he <laughs> thought it was terrible um, left a really really bad awful taste in his mouth I'm in between both of you but on that. what is but, that taste in my mouth the matter is, mm. But the fact of the matter is, I thought I think most of us on this couch thought the first one was really quite good. Yes. And I think the mistakes they made in number two, while egregious, were obvious. And I think they're fixable. And the fact of the matter is, it's made over $700 million worldwide. This franchise has some legs it can still go on, it can be built upon, and they can fix these things. And look, you put out another stinker, you put out another one that people are really disappointed in, then the Spider-Man franchise is in trouble. But it isn't in trouble right now, so I wasn't surprised at all to hear the schnep. Well, I mean, it was. I'm disappointed uh, on many levels, but like, hey, look, if they need to take four years to get Spider-Man 3 back on track, I'd say they they should just let Mark Webb direct it because obviously Spider-Man 2 is directed by a team of people. It's very obvious when you see it. He wasn't he wasn't allowed to actually like work with the actors. It's very choppy and uneven. Uh, so it just it just stinks of like a, too many hands in the in the pot. So uh, I don't want to go into why I, I thought Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, was a horrible wreck. Um, but it was it didn't have just to do with ho so many villains. It was just the uneven tone and from scene to scene to scene. It, it was inconsistent jumped, throughout. Yeah, it, was, it was so inconsistent that it became like this upsetting thing. Um, 
But, uh, you know, I mean, spy, um, The Amazing what Spider-Man What are you talking 2, about? Everyone talk yeah, like this. I'm going to be so yelling the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm going right. to pause while you hang out with a little boy. Like, for a I, yeah. I'm like, oh, Paul Giamatti, how did, what did yeah. they, well, like, what family member do they have held hostage yeah, right now? Yeah, no, nobody told him even like, oh, hey, you're in a movie that's like, you know, you don't have to be over the top. You're like an angry dude, but don't be like a cartoon. Yeah. It was just like all those scenes were from a different movie, so... Uh, with the Sinister Six, now you have more villains. So the Amazing Spider-Man Two had like three sets of villains. We won't even get into the Dane DeHaan like weirdness at the end. Like he just gets into the suit and knows how to fly yeah. around like Good a goblin. Go. Just, I mean, just really bad, really sloppy writing, um, and also inconsistent. They must have cut out like forty minutes of the movie. Like they, hey, we filmed the scene that explained things like that, but then we cut it out. Who knows? Uh, just a big wreck. But the the Sinister Six has six villains. So, but the only reason I'm looking forward to that is Drew Goddard. Mm -hmm. That's the yes. only reason. That's the wild card. He's here. writing it. Yeah. He's directing it. Sony, if you know what's up, let him just make the movie. Don't get your guys who are selling toys involved and like try to like mess around. It's like, look, you already got the toys. There are six villains. Chuck, you know, Spider Man in there if you're smart, and you'll have a really great movie. Let that guy do it. Um, the Amazing Spider Man three. Who, who knows? Just let Mark Webb direct it. Stop, you know, adding a bunch of stuff and messing around. I, I, it was I don't even know. It's, uh, eventually, a book will be written about the amazing Spider-Man, too, because I think it's on on par with Batman and Robin. That's how wow. bad it is to me. It's just a, a train wreck. Christian, I really could. I, I don't care about this Sinister Six movie at all. I don't care about the Spider-Man movie anymore at all. And I, I'm, I'm with you. I, I didn't hate it like John did. I thought it was fine there are a lot of problems with it but it is just come and i really like andrew garfield as spider-man i think mm -hmm. he's great um i just i they've lost me they really lost me and i i, I agree with you guys that drew goddard is the is the one reason that i could really get back into it if they set it up right but i don't they've the way that they set up these the villains that are going to be in the movie i don't care about any of them there's nothing about any of these villains that make me go oh i want to see a movie about them and but it does also explain why they are doing Spider-Man three so late is because they don't like the direction that they've taken the movie so far. So what they're going to do now, whatever they set up in the Sinister Six movie, will then play into Spider-Man three. That could save and put us in a new um, direction. Yeah. Right. So by putting us in that new direction, th this is the, ch the Sinister Six is a chance to save the franchise. It's just a matter of whether they can do it. And I, and a lot of us just don't care right now. But yeah. I actually think that as much as I like Mark Webb, I don't want to see him direct Spider-Man three. I'm with you on that. I mean, he, even though he signed on, I mean, honestly, like when they announced they were going to do a Spider-Man movie every year, and this is before The Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out, I was like, that's cool. I was like, we get to see an, an Amazing Spider-Man movie and then a spinoff, then an Amazing Spider-Man movie. I was 100% into it. You're right. I don't care anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm, I want Drew Goddard to make a good sure. movie, but... You know, it's well, a, they Web already ruined it with Oscorp. I know he signed number the third, but, but not I, the I, he I just said it ends in a trilogy, so I respect that at least. I am a big fan of Mark Webb. I like him a lot as a director. I just think he should move aside. I really don't want to see his vision of Spider-Man anymore. I want to see somebody else's. But I think you're right though, because in the first one it felt like a Mark Webb film, right. and the second one did not. It was pulled in so many directions, the inconsistencies. Maybe, yeah. So I feel like if they were like, "Yo, give me creative control again," that maybe there would be hope. But I do agree with your direction. It might kind of give just more life again in this franchise that we kind of lost hope in a little bit. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.